Hi everyone, this is Emily Mo. So have you ever wanted a tarot reading but just didn't know what to ask? You didn't know what to ask, but you just wanted your cartas being read, your tarot cards being read, you know, um, just tira, you know, just to throw them, just to see what comes out. This is one, a general tarot reading is good. It's perfect for this because it gives you general information about everything. Um, and whatever comes out is probably really important or very significant. I created my own general tarot reading spread and I'm also going to give you an example of another one that most of everyone does. General tarot reading spreads are really good for when you don't have a major question, you just feel like, you know, something's brewing and you want to get your tarot cards read. You get a general tarot reading. Then things come out in the wash, and then you can ask all the specific questions you want to narrow things down. So I'm going to be conducting two general tarot reading spreads. Hopefully you catch on real quickly. You know, I like to make it really simple so everyone can learn. And if you like it, you can even visit more of my videos that I have. Take care, guys. And make sure you visit my website, emilymole.com. Okay, so this reading is for Caroline von der Berg. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. I apologize if I didn't. I already shuffled the cards and laid lay them out. Um, I really don't have like a specific way to lay out the reading, but if I would, I would start them clockwise. I put the first card in the middle and then you start dealing clockwise. Um, it doesn't matter, everyone has their own way of doing things. Um, but this is my general reading. I I took a normal tarot spread and just plugged in basically topics. And I just read on that. Um, and this is my way of doing it. It's just been easier this way. Uh, when clients come and say, I just want general information. I don't know what I want to know. Um, I This is my goal to spread to do that. And then specific questions come um, out. So this is a real reading that I'm doing right now. Um, so let's get to it. So I will take a picture. But this is um, this is the initial, the middle of the reading. All right. The middle of the reading is basically what energy is surrounding you. What is the the most um, important type of energy that is currently, you know, surrounding her life right now. Um, and you have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords in the middle says that she's probably dealing with a lot of conflicts right now at this point of her time. And she's probably in the middle of, of some type of battle. But the Five of Swords is also saying that she needs to be strong, you know. She needs to be strong during these battles because she will overcome that and she cannot be bullied, you know. So that's kind of the energy. She might feel the Five of Swords so she's kind of stuck in all these kind of conflicts right now in her life. And she's trying to win. <laughs> She's definitely trying to win and is basically saying here that she will win too, but she needs to stand strong. You know, those bullies that have been bullying you, um, that battle is almost done. Those conflicts and headaches, you know, um, some things you need to walk away from, but maybe this is a conflict that you need to face right now and get it out of your life already so you can move forward. All right. And with this, they telling me also that it's going to start a lot of major changes um, in your life, too. Um, so you're facing the music. Maybe you got yourself in some trouble. Maybe we did mistakes, whatever it be. But um, this is a time that you thought I cannot run from this no more. And um, basically, it's a time to face your battles. It says you're going to win, but you need to face it. It's going to be a bit rough times. But you're going to get out of it. Um, so you're dealing with some conflicts in your life right now. and But it's a positive card too. Because it shows here that you will not be bullied. And you got to stand strong and face things right now in your life. Okay. So I really like that card in that position. I'm not going to be bullied. Alright. So now we're going to start. This is the way I read. Now this card 
represents her finances. So her finances is this lovely chariot card, all right? So in general, we're saying um, it's uh, the chariot card talks about movement, victory, you know, talks about things moving fo forward. You're finally going to have progress um, in your finances. If things was at a, a, a stall, if you own your own business or anything like that, if it was kind of just dragging on, you're finally going to feel like it's um, starting to move as well all right so definitely there's movement in your finances is um i'm not saying it's going to increase but it's going to start moving moving forward you're going to feel like you're finally um finally going somewhere <laughs> with this card here with the chariot so that's really interesting that's actually a positive thing um if you have been they telling me spending 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 finally things you're able to kind of put more in your bank account and save so it's like more credits and less debits amen to that one all right so this is one um this position is your love life you see how i'm just taking topics and just boom reading on it that's what you get from general reading so when you're reading for people bang um you know finances love and then we keep going into the categories um the card of the chat i mean the yeah charity is here it's the six of coins so i feel like love in in your love life you it's like someone handing you <laughs> giving you more it being more open as well as with this card it's more fluid as well and i even feel like someone you're gonna give someone a chance someone's gonna give you a chance it's more of a giving romance that you have in your life and it's coming before you instead of someone being so close right like a freaking wall you know you just can't get through it's finally gonna progress where you feel like people are giving to one another you know opening up things are being shared so that's a good one all right so um in regards to health this is the next card in regards to your health so we have two of swords there two of swords in regards to your health this is another topic so two of swords in regards to your health um <sighs> making decisions you about to make i mean to me this this card is saying you're you're uh, i call this my crossroad card not everyone does but i do um, you at the point in regards to your health where you got to make some major decisions. You can't no longer wait around um, to see what happens. If you do, you'll be at the short end of the stick. You know, you're about to do something very positive in, um, in your health. And it's gonna change. It's gonna change your life. But you need to move forward. Is basically uh, what it's saying here. You need to make that decision and choice for it to, um, um, so you can open the door. Whatever it is, it's gonna be for your benefit. But you need to already start crossing that line. We're just waiting to see if it's gonna get worse or better. Um, it's not gonna benefit you at all. So go for it. Do something positive. And I feel like you've been probably. Uh, I'm gonna use just a random example diet or exercise or you know go to your doctor or something <laughs> just do it bite the bullet and just do it and you're about to do that too it's gonna be for your benefit all right so the last the next card is about family and the card of oppression is here oh girl child um, I feel, there's like there's all this anti-social behavior here maybe you feel like they have um, ruled your life in this for a certain amount of time and limiting you and your decisions and choices you know um, which is hi so the last card we left it off was the card of oppression in the family uh, in the family um, topic this could be family or very close friends, you know, friends that you have known for years. Um, so it's close people to you. All right. And um, this is the card of the devil. And in this tarot deck, it's called the card of oppression, which 
does say that they have you in some type of a bondage in a bind and you need to cut those cords and set free from them because it could be toxic energy and they could be um, limiting you to achieve your true potential true potential you're a very uh, a very free spirit person um and anyone that tries to tell you what to do you know um that's them trying to live their dream through you um you need to sometimes cut those cords and experience things your, yourself and you could be really different to these from these people um and you find yourself sometimes stuck in in this in-between mode from doing what you want to do and then trying to please them at the same time you know and the result of that is they keep being like that small chiquito uh, when you can be blooming and expanding too and it also in the case is very toxic um so this card is saying to break free from these things because it's like a wake-up call you can be just growing and just just doing so many things more you need to really bloom and these people these energies are pressing you all right okay um if <laughs> the video is probably darker right now is because i ran out of um memory when i was filming i had to do it all over again when i try to upload the video <laughs> okay so now this position this card is the spiritual message for you. So this is messages spirit for you. This is the top of your head. This is messages spirit for you. They're giving you some type of advice. And this is the card. And it's the Ace of Cups. I love this tarot deck. Star child tarot. It's sold out. So I'm just so happy that I got it. Um, Ace of Cups. The message of spirit is a revy, it's the card of love. Um, the card of love basically is telling you to advance, move forward, practice self-love, give love. It's okay to love. Even if you might have been hurt in the past, it's okay to open yourself up to love. Let me put this a little closer. It's okay to open yourself up to love at the moment. Give love and to receive love it is also the top of your reading here. So it's almost like it's kind of shining, you know, it's like shining. It's like a torch right here. Operate and always, if love softens everything. It just really does. I know that's very cheesy, seems like fluffy talk, but it is, you know. Um, they also in the case here that you might have a new love, a love in your life is going to grow right now. So it's going to, it's, it's almost like a, a, a card of frequency and vibration. It's, you're going to uh, uh, just be glowing love and it talks about a lot of healing also on top it's gonna flow and surround you all right that's a really great message from spirit okay so this card is of things in your past things of your past and we have the two of wands here and it's in reverse i read reversals so two of wands you read this this card is your card of your past so anything of your past things that's in your past that just happened that still might have some type of influence into this reading all right it's going to be in this position all right so this is your past card you're right behind you all right so this is you and this is right behind you this is your past so it's giving you the two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse basically says that um you probably just a, a friend of yours um you you had to leave a friend or you and your friend had a disagreement you didn't see eye to eye uh, you don't no longer see eye to eye you're not no longer on the same type of um people outgrow each other all right and this card is in the past maybe because it needs to stay there um, and it's not a toxic card, but it says probably you've left a friendship that you had for some time because probably um, you two are on different levels right now. You're no longer seeing eye to eye. So this is like, you, and it's not that you're better than a person. It's like you don't see it. So you keep going like this back and forth. And um, this person and your spirits are no more connecting as they used to. 
you know um and and there's a reason for this i feel like you just outgrown and you have different interests let's say leave that alone as well don't pursue it too much because it's still going to be the same thing you're just on two different frequencies and vibrations so that's in your past too and this card is the card of this is the card of your foundation what grounds you right now literally it's the bottom of the reading and you got the seven of cups the seven of cups um it's like your foundation what grounds you where's your energy at you know um and it basically says right now that you have a lot of ideas so you're not really too grounded with things actually um the seven of cups for me is like pipe dream so you have a lot of ideas a lot of choices that really are before you right now and it's hard to just make one um this is a card of choices too wow um so you need to make a, a decision on what you need to do in your life right now and there's so many choices before you all right so it's almost like I don't know what to do. Do I go left, right, up, down, you know, sideways? What do I do? And it says right now you need to be a bit more grounded and you need to make a dis decision or choice. The best advice I could give you when this card is like that, write things down. Write down what you want to do. Do the pros and cons of each one. Whichever one has the most pros, that's the one you should do first. And put them in order and follow a formula, follow a system and do it like that because if you do too many things at one time you're just going to be scattered nothing's going to get accomplished and when we're juggling too many things at once it's hard to really build and this is the card of your foundation it's like what you're building on all right so slow that down write things down organize yourself so you can build stronger and um, set goals as well choose two things at a time but not three or four you know because then they're not going to happen all right, so that's your foundation card. And the last card is your near future. Oh, star seed. That's, that's the full card in the tarot, C0. Um, I like this. It's a great way. Um, the full card, in, it's like new journeys, new beginnings. I almost feel like it's like a refreshing. <laughs> it's like a refreshing thing it's like all the baggage on your back all these things it's like oh, the heck with that I'm um, you're gonna you're gonna start exploring new places you're gonna go on new journeys in your life you you're gonna start traveling to new places you're gonna start mingling with new people there's just so many new things that that is about to come before you into the spring into the summer and it's like this big travel for you and you just have you don't know what's gonna happen at the end but you're just gonna go for it and it's this sense of freedom there's a lot of freedom and it's funny because we have oppression here and then we have freedom over there too so i mean distance yourself from people that limit you because they're really toxic and looks like you have been doing a cleansing um from what i'm seeing here you know and changing your lifestyle but it's all for the best all right so take care that's your general reading i hope you enjoyed it god bless guys okay so this video is for Amy okay, let's see. This is and it's for Amy A I M E E Amy Alright, so we, this is another general reading that I do, and once it stopped, I just, that's what I do, I just, I just stop. <laughs> okay, they, these cards are, are just coming out, they're coming out their own selves. So this is a general reading that most people kind of do. <laughs> um, they just throw some cards out, and to me, um right tarot is not like lenormand it's not let's play connect you know <laughs> um so you read the cards by its uh literally by its meaning i 
read reversals. So please do not read reversals if you're not comfortable with reading reversals. I always stress start reading up right first and then go into it. But you need to always say, hey, I'm not going to read reversals before you start pulling the cards. All right. So that's something very um, important. So this is a general reading. So I see many people do the spreads like this. And they just give you general information, um, past, present, future, and then you kind of cross and start reading the information as the cards go. And this can be a bit very confusing to someone who's who doesn't have like a certain formula written down. All right. So I do this way too. The first way I do prefer, but it's the same thing. So Amy, the Empress is in reverse. It says you need to take better care of yourself, your 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 health. All right. Um, the Empress in Reverse is also shows as like lack of nurturing. You may feel that people are being cold to you, or you are, you know, you're you dissing yourself, and you need to prioritize that self love in you. Um, the Empress is a woman, and um, she's she really talks about things birthing in her life, right? And um, the Empress in Reverse is like it's infertile. Like you're gonna feel as if. Um, you try to plant seeds in, in all these different places into your life and it's nothing is blooming. It's not, it's, you know, it's not, it's not working out. It's not blooming for you. You know, it's like, you, where is it? Nista, where, where is these things? I'm hitting all these walls. I'm hitting all these walls. And this is what this card says. All right. So in general readings, we I always start in the middle because it's like the heart, you know, corazón. It's, it's like the real, the meat of it. It's the heart. Um, and then we I kind of stem off of everything, all right? Um, it also, and I, I start to go from this side and keep it going. It also indicates here that you're you kind of, you're very bored in, in, in your life right now with this card. Um, so you just read the cards as it is, as it comes. You're very bored and for its meanings, not in its, in its positions, right? Four Cups stands for boredom. There's lack of excitement. Um, this card is the temperance in reverse. You don't have patience. And it also indicates here that combinations and like this one is saying, like things that you have tried, it's not working out. And it's almost like it's spilled milk, all right? It's just pouring, you're not getting benefit. Also, watch with drinking. In this card, the temperance in reverse also indicates here you got to watch out with drinking or things like that. Toxics right now into your body because you can overindulge at this moment because of this too. You also find yourself with the Six of Cups really thinking about people in your past. Um, but their Six of Cups is upright, so it shows here that people in your past probably is going to stay in your past for right now. Um, in front of you also indicates here that um, you're going to start also um, thinking about education. All right. Education is a big thing for you right now. Um, you should definitely do that. But this card under it also indicates here that... Um, is much of a burden. It's hard to educate yourself right now. Maybe because of lack of funds, lack of um, structure right now in your life. And you probably feel like kind of things are hopeless because these two cards are indicating like you putting things in and it's like you're not getting anything out of it. All right. But it won't be a waste of time. But it's something that really is going to benefit you also as well. This card also in the case here, though, makes me feel like you're going to be more social. All right, trying to, to avoid things and uh, push issues and problems aside, you, you're seeing yourself being more social um, right now in your life. And that's a that's a good thing, you know, but make sure that it doesn't take you out of prioritizing things that you really need to do. This card also here um, indicates, that's a page of swords. You don't trust nobody right now at this time. And probably you have a reason not to trust anybody right now. So keep your guards up too. Um, you can smell when something is about to happen. If you feel it in your gut not to trust someone, don't do it. And don't give them anything. All right? But Ace of Coins is here. And also in the case here that um, you are, you got to watch out with your money and spending at this time, honey. All right? Spending your money at this time, you're just pouring out money. All right? So you're just pouring out money and things like that in regards to money. So watch out and conserve your 
money moolah right now okay so uh, this is the general reading of what I do you literally just read the cards for what it is all right and these are the things that are gonna surround you really and then you can actually ask specific questions about it people usually read this line past present and future all right and um, it's funny how we're talking about this is in the past, right? Thinking about someone in the past and education, too. She's thinking about it um, in the past, but it looks like she kind of brushed it to the side because it was too much of a burden for her, too. But they tell me, you got to make this the higher friend with education and learning about things right now. That card got to be here. That got to be a priority. That's your future. Presently, this is how you feel. So presently, it basically says that um, watch out for drinking. You you feel like unloved, unnurtured. People are not giving you affection. There's lack of growth and things right now. And you're going to feel frustrated because you feel like things are not really moving for you. But you mo you're socializing more too, which you're going to be involved with more people. All right. The future it's like this is not giving you any type of excitement too that you thought and you got to watch out with your money that's right in front of you too and it says that you're gonna um, also be on your guard with people that you can't trust and it says that's probably very very true so keep your guards up before you start chopping heads off all right and that's your general reading that's how you do a general reading guys all right i hope this was really clear to you. If you have any questions, comment below, message me. You know I'm always available. All right, emilymold.com or Facebook. Take care and God bless. Bye.